Jamie Lynn. Today I'm going to be doing something new for you guys, it's going to be a thrift store flip. So in the UK these thrift stores are actually called charity shops. So I've just been round a few of those and I've picked an object that I really want to give a makeover. Let's take a look! <laughs> Hi guys! So today I've got this item here. Now this is from the thrift store, or as we would call it in the UK, a charity shop. Um, it looks like someone has painted this already, which is super cute. Um, it's got lots of different colours on it. And oh look, it says marble box with a little smiley face. I'm hoping that someone kept their marbles in here. It's a good way not to lose them. There's a nice blue splodge painted on that side there. Beautiful. I really do like this little design, but I'm going to make it much more me. It's got some little painted drawings on and I do not know what this is and it's kind of gross so I'm just gonna put that over here. I like the design really but we're gonna make it much more Jamie Lynn YTC. Oh <laughs> they just came off so easily whoa awesome well that's great i'm glad they came off because i didn't really want them on my future design now this one's a bit tricky to get off um but we'll see about that a bit later and there's still some glue stuck on there but don't worry we can fix it so the drawers are quite cute but they don't quite fit in very well um there's a small medium and large and they've painted them all different colors which i do like but I'm going to make sure this is so much better. So I'm going to start by having a look at the top. So you can see that there's like a little bit of a feather boa going on at the top and some beads. Now I'm just going to take this bit off. Yeah, sure. And see if I can get all of those feathers off. But don't worry if they don't come off because they are glued down. We can sort that out a little bit later. Okay, now I'm going to have a look at the beads. They're very plain. I don't really think they are needed on this item, so I'm just going to figure out a way to take them off. They actually came off very easily, so it wasn't too much hassle. But I'm definitely going to keep these for a later date. How exciting! Perfect, so I just want to start by sanding it down just to make sure that we get all of those feathers off and the glue that those little gems were stuck down on so we can get a nice clean flat surface. And I'm just going to take those drawers out to start painting the base. Now I wanted to go for one of my favourite colours ever, which you will probably know is red, but I've gone for a dark red today. I wanted to match my nails. <laughs> Oh, I made a little mess there, so let's just clean that up before I continue. <laughs> and yes, so before I move on, I just want to give this another coat. The first coat was a little bit patchy and you could still see some colours underneath. So I wanted to give it a second coat just to make sure it was fully covered. I was using acrylic paints for this so I didn't expect there to have to be two coats, but that's okay. At least it looks a lot better now. Perfect, so when that's all finished and dry I'm going to turn my attention to the drawers. Now we've got a small, medium and large drawers. And I'm just going to figure out how to make these look absolutely amazing and definitely Jamie Lynn YTC style. I'm going to start with the smallest drawer and what I've done here is I've mixed some glitter glue and I'm just going to paint that on there, make sure it's fully covered. This was taking quite a while so in the end I just ended up using PVA glue and sprinkling the glitter over the top. 
making a big mess <laughs> I had glitter everywhere but you guys know how much I love glitter so it doesn't matter too much I'm just gonna make sure that I get glitter all over the sides too and I'm just gonna do that with all of these drawers make them super glittery lovely on these next drawers I'm just doing a base coat of PVA glue and I'm going to sprinkle the glitter over the top. It makes a lot more mess but it gets a lot more coverage by doing that. And I'm just touching it up there and making sure that I'm getting glitter on the sides too. Now if you're doing this at home, I did think it would probably be better if you maybe had a pot underneath to catch all of your glitter in because I was just making a big mess. Um, and I had to keep clearing all of the glitter up and you know it just gets everywhere sometimes but they look so much better now <laughs> see where the glitter is it's everywhere okay so I'm going to turn my attention to the inside and outside of the drawers and I'm going to paint them in the same red color that I did the other part in and again I'm just going to go around and touch up all of these drawers and make sure I do two coats just so it's fully covered. I'm just going in with the smaller brush here to make sure that I get nice lines in where my bigger brush couldn't get to. And you can see my paint palette slowly coming into the scene here. <laughs> my nice messy paint palette. Lovely. So now that's all finished, I'm just going to go over the glitter in Mod Podge just to make sure that it gives a nice coat over the top and that glitter doesn't keep coming off. If you don't have Mod Podge at home, you could just do this with a normal PVA glue and it should work just as fine. So I actually forgot about the little knobs here. Um, so I'm just gonna paint around them in the glitter. And I do have some cute little flowers that I'm going to put on them. And I've got my hot glue gun out and I'm just going to stick them on and make them like little drawers. And when I finish that, I'm just going to leave it all to dry. And this is the finished product. Oh, I love this so much. I'm so glad that I got this to make over today. It's perfect, it's so glittery, it's my favorite color, and I absolutely love the flowers on there. I hope you guys love this as much as I do. If you was going to do this at home, what colors would you have painted it? Let me know in the comments below. It's the perfect little storage space for my lipsticks. <laughs> I love it so much. <laughs> oh, and here's the finished product. I think it looks so cute. So on every YouTube video recently, I have been doing shout outs for a few of you guys. These people are people that have been very supportive on my Instagram and on my YouTube page. And in fact, all of my social medias. If you're not following me, make sure that you are. My username is JamieLynnYTC. But the person I want to shout out today is Sarita the Awesome Perez. Thank you so much for your support. Also, Sarita does amazing fan edits of me, so make sure that you're following my Instagram page to see all of her work. Thank you for your support. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and also check out my previous videos. I've done squishy makeovers, I've mixed and made slime, and I've also done some arts and crafts that you guys can do at home. As I told you, this was my first thrift store flip, but you will see more of these in the future. Thank you so much for watching. Bye, my little penguins.